Alright, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 3 Spider Camo Only. There's a shitload of wildlife in this area and I want to get as much of it as I can. Including at least one coral snake and milk snake. I remember one of them tasting average and the other one tasting like crap. And I still want both of them. There's plenty of Indian gavels around here as well, so... I'll stock up on meat for them. I probably should have caught those alive now that I think about it. Oh well. There will be opportunities later. Also, how did you survive that? Oh right, don't have any Indian Gabriel yet. It's okay, this guy will take care of that. Where is it? Oh. I see you there, frog. Don't try to hide. Alright, how much stamina do you give me? I'm pretty sure tree frogs aren't that great. But I don't remember. Disgusting. Yeah, that looks about right. Pretty tasty. How about the coral snake and milk snake? One of you is crap, the other one's okay. Okay, the milk snake is the crap one. Coral snakes. Oh good, I thought it was average. Alright, I'll take it. So I don't know how much... I thought I saw Gabriel to my left. I don't know how much oxygen you get if you have no stamina at all. But I don't imagine the game just drowning you, so I'll test that in a moment here. But right now I'm kind of in the middle of Gabriel infested waters. I'm also going to equip my bug juice because I did hear that little stowaway. Be gone. So, bug juice and thermal goggles. Okay, I don't see any ammo boxes. Oh wait, there's a Gabriel here. Reload manually for that extra magazine, that'll be helpful. Alright, so ammo boxes in the corner. Doesn't look guarded. Chaff grenades. Interesting. I don't really use chaff grenades ever in this game. I vaguely recall them having one specific use that I did use them for, but that was a very long time ago. I don't remember what it was. Alright, what am I looking at? Heat signature detected. Commencing deletion. Alright, I do want to go over to the left side here. Because I do want the Kruk cap. Problem is... There's Gaviels in the way. Ah, and it looks like the game does give me one full bar of stamina. Well, oxygen, not stamina. Even if I have no stamina at all. Good to know. I'm a little bit concerned. You can probably tell by the tone of my voice. Because these guys are very dangerous in deep water. I just used a bug juice, damn it. If a Gavial is alerted to your presence in deep water, then it will almost certainly. I'm drowning, shit. Then it will almost certainly swim up to you, catch you, and put you in a death roll. Which kills you instantly. It's pretty awesome to see, but obviously I prefer to avoid it, so I'll just continue here. Okay, so I'll just eat as much Indian Gavil as I possibly can so I can recover from this drowning. Hey, this works. What game was it that I played where you could recover from drowning damage by drinking bottled water? There's probably a few... Oh, it was Fallout 4, that was it. Because I stock a shitload of purified water in Fallout 4. Alright, so... Was not bad? Tasted bad? Yeah, let's try the arowana. Oh, and the first one I try, I get the little cutscene. Look at him, he's dead but still flailing around. 
That's a spirit. You go, little guy. Oh, decent stamina recovery. Okay. That's acceptable. It's possible. I'll take it. So now that I'm thinking about it, there's very few situations that come to mind where the spider camo is something that you would really ever use. The one place that I do use the spider camo during regular gameplay is actually when I'm taking Rykov's body. I really should have eaten something before I did that. That might have recovered enough stamina to get me over there. Oh dear. Um, anyway. When I'm taking Rykov's body over to the locker room so I can take his disguise. That's when I do use the spider camo in normal gameplay. I think I can still make it, luckily. And another situation I guess would be if you're climbing a tree to get a good vantage point. Then that's another good situation for it. But besides that, yeah, I really don't use it that much. Obviously, I've used it enough to know exactly what it does. Hence this playthrough. Oh, you survived that. Okay, much better. Oh, no, get up. Get, get. Alright, let's eat something so I don't immediately drown. I forgot to mention this in the first video, but I feel I should probably mention it just in case some people still don't know. When I record console games, I have an audio delay of about one second. So if a guard just notices me, I'm not going to be able to tell until he's already most likely in alert mode. So... It's going to make this playthrough a little bit harder. But I don't really mind. I welcome the challenge in a challenge run. Also, you have to admire how ridiculously fast Snake just rockets to the surface when you press triangle. It's so good. Alright, let's eat some of this. Oh, actually. That one says tasty, but this one says fairly tasty, so which one is tastier? Hey, this works. That's good stamina recovery. And that one is... Great stamina recovery. Okay, so fairly tasty is tastier than just tasty. Sure, I'll take it. Watch out for the pit trap there. That's instant death if you fall into it. Alright, Balshaya Pass South. I do believe I'm going to want... The Mind Detector. I probably don't need the Cardboard Box, I'll take that off. I guess I could use the Thermal Goggles instead of the Mind Detector. They do weigh less, and they can be used to spot the mines anyway, so I'll give those a go. Well, they tank the frame rate a little bit, but besides that, they're not too bad. Yeah, it's probably better to use the Mind Detector here. So this is what the Mind Detector sounds like if you haven't heard it. Okay, that second one's behind me. I do need to keep a good camo index here because there is a dog on the other side of that fence that will spot me and trigger an alert, so... I'd like to, uh, put it down. Well, calm down, mind detector. Holy shit, it's on the ground. It's fine. Am I gonna... get away? Okay, good. Let's have some more Indian Gabriel. Hey, this works. 
Okay. I don't think there's any mines on this side, so I might just continue. There's a guard and another bottomless swamp over on the right side. I don't think I have a reason to go down there, so I'll just leave it alone. But down here, hopefully there's no mines. I'm onto you, game. Um, is that... Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I genuinely almost didn't see that guard there. Pretty tasty. I usually go down the right side, too, so... There you go, something different that I'm doing. Welcome. Jump through there. Um, I said, jump through there. Thank you. Mine detector's on, so I should be... Okay. So far, so good. I'm already running out of Indian Gavials. I'm scared. Alright, this guy up here as well. Just gonna pop him. I said... There we go. Uh, quickly, thank you. Right, mine detected just to be safe. I don't think there's any mines on this side, but... It certainly doesn't hurt to play safe. I think I'm good. I should probably also mention I don't remember where any batteries are in this game. With the exception of the one just after the fight against the Fury, so... I'm probably going to be low on those for a while. I'll grab some Russian glow caps as well, because I remember where those are. Okay, so... I do believe there are two guards here that drop suppressors for the Mark 22, which I do want. Pretty tasty. So what I'm going to do... is probably just slam this guy and shake him down. Those are grenades, okay. If they become too difficult to get, oh, ration, cool, thanks. If they become too difficult to get, like an interior guard that's got a buddy patrolling with him, then I won't bother. Looking like that might be the case. Alright, thermal goggles, do your stuff. There's a guy on the right side taking that turret, so I'll go and say hi. Hey, this works. There might be another guard behind him too, who walks around the helicopter. I don't remember for sure, it might be the same guy. That was a bit close. Uh. I think I saw no, you didn't see sh diddly shit. You didn't hear that either. It's fine. I was expecting him to go around the other side of the wall. Luckily, I got away with that. Guys, I'm already running out of food. Help. Oh, yeah, that is a different guard. Okay. Huh? What's up? Okay. I uh, didn't mean to put him in the trench, but that's fine too. Oh wait, do I have to hold him up to get the suppressor? I probably do. Oh, no, never mind. He just... Alright, excellent. Okay, so I just wanted one, but two is much better. So I'll see if this other guy around the helicopter is carrying one. There's also a food shed in the corner that I do want to raid. Possibly guarded? I don't remember. Well, oh, okay. That was really unfortunate timing. I guess that's what I get for being greedy, but I guess the good news is now I know that this guy does not have the suppressor, so I can just chew on that. Pretty tasty. And that.
All right, you don't have anything, so I'll just run straight past. Make a wide circle around this guy. And pull him back here a little bit. Now that I've held him up, unless a guard comes to investigate... Come on. Come on, do it. Okay, I was pretty sure he was supposed to drop crap for me, but that's fine. Okay, so guards that you hold up on the ground will not get up of their own volition. So you can effectively lock down an entire area if you get to everybody quickly enough. If you leave them alone while they're standing up, then they will go into alert or caution, depending on which direction you leave them from. But this guy will also serve as a lure. What? Oh, I forgot about you. Um, it's fine. You are seeing things. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Okay, so. This guy had the suppressor, so I'd like to get it out of you, but do I need to do it with a lethal weapon? No. Hmm. Okay, um... I suppose I can do it like this, just kick the shit out of him over and over. Yeah, that works, sure. <laughs> Alright. Freeze. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Help. Freeze. I'm really just torturing the guards at this point. I realized that the point was for me to get a suppressor, but I'm having too much fun. I'm sorry. I'm a complete monster. Freeze. Please don't. If you don't want me to shoot you, drop a suppressor. That's a funny looking suppressor. Huh. Um, yeah, good, good aim. Nice one, me. Okay, so. Yeah, I kind of forgot how CQC works, I'll be honest. So, I'll just smack this guy around and hopefully he'll drop one as well. Turn around. Thank you. Please don't. Now drop your shit. Smoke grenades, okay. Huh. Good thing you were too unconscious to see my gigantic incompetence huh. a moment ago. Ointment. I don't need ointment, but sure. Huh. Do you have anything else? Okay, a suppressor for the M1911A1, that's pretty good. Certainly won't turn that down. I'll just press on because one more suppressor for the Mark 22 is enough. I also thought that was a food shed, not an ammo shed. Rip me. Alright. Despite the colossal fuck-ups that I had earlier when I was kind of dicking around a bit too much. Then I think what I'll do is prepare for the ocelot fight. So I don't have, yeah, I don't have any more bug juice left, so I'll have to use the cigars. Oh, hi. Uh, come in here, sir. Oh, I was kind of hoping to let him go so I could just hold him up immediately, but I fucked it up. Rip. <laughs> okay. This is definitely just practice or something. Been a while since I played this, gotta get myself used to everything again. Right, so pop him. I might just get the Mark 22 suppressor and then bail. I don't really need anything else. Huh. 
That was really unlucky timing for you, sir. Okay. Please don't. I have to keep an eye on my right because that guy might just come around here and see his buddy raising the roof. Kind of like that. And he almost saw me as well. Goddamn. Alright. Let's crank up that camo index. With one more just for insurance. Don't want to make any more stupid mistakes in this area. Nothing's wrong. Everything is fine. I might still hit up the ammo shed anyway. I can't remember what I picked up from it, but there were a few things in there, so might as well. Anyone else around here? Don't think so. Hope not. Alright, white phosphorus grenades and TNT. Yeah, the TNT is going to be useful later. But not quite yet. Alright, I'll get rid of this milk snake and the arowana. Then I'll proceed into the boss fight. Remove the suppressor, and I'll probably... I have to equip my cigar again. I knew that. Get rid of the mine detector, equip cigar. Okay. Hello. Just in case I need it, I probably won't, but you never know. Life medicine's good. And now for the boss fight against Young Ocelot. Which I'm gonna need to grab some hornet's nests from. So, oh, yep, let's run the wrong direction. Amazing start. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, give me all that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Ouch. You won't get away from me. It's kind of weird how the game doesn't reset to the Snake Eater camera during these cutscenes, but it will for the pain, you'll see it later on. What do you mean, not bad? I'm not doing anything. Oh, you screwy wabbit. Oh, shut up, Ocelot. And cigar. And thermal goggles. Grenade. Okay. Okay, now that I've got that done... Let's try the European rabbit. Hey, this works. Yeah, sure, let's try the King Cobra. Pretty tasty. I'm glad you liked it. Goddamn. Right, my usual strategy for Ocelot is pretty much entirely to rely on oh shit. To rely on the lock on thing. Oh, bloody hell. Ouch. I might also be bleeding. Yes! It's the heart of Sorry, Ocelot, let me just ruin your dialogue there. I didn't mean to shoot your hat, but that's fine. <laughs> I did it too well. Oh shit, this is probably gonna kill me. I'm just gonna throw on some life medicine. As long as it keeps me alive, then that's all I really need. Rank be damned. Uh. I did get you. Oh, I actually got him with that. Hot damn. Alright. Need to eat some more. So, I think... Yeah, European rabbit, sure. Hey, this works. 
With a side of coral snake? That sounds good. It's so satisfying when I get the stamina meter almost full. Right. Now that I have good stamina, I can probably use the hornet nests. Are you on the left? Ocelot, where are you hiding? I guess I'll just do that. That's fine too. Ooh. How dare. Where did he go? Oh, there you are. Ammo, please. Um, ammo for a gun I'm using, please. Almost done. Excellent. You can kill Ocelot here, but it doesn't actually count as a kill in your stats. But you'll miss out on the animal's camo, so I strongly recommend a non-lethal takedown. There we go, beautiful. It was a bit sloppier than usual, but got through it in the end. And now this part, which is what I equipped the cigar for, I can't see anything. And this place is a bit of a maze. I do intend on getting the torch and the shotgun here. Possibly also the night vision goggles, but I don't remember where any of them are. So this is gonna suck. I'll enhance it in editing so you guys can at least see, but for me, it's pretty bad. I do know that there's a pool somewhere that has the night vision goggles around it, and that's probably my goal. I guess my... Nope, not gonna make that. Whew. Close. Am I dying from something? Oh, a leech. Okay, well, I'm not dying from the leech, but may as well get it off while I'm here. I think this might be that really artifacted cutscene thing. Let's have a look. Yep, not looking so great so far. Oh, yep, right there. You can count the pixels. Yuck. Yeah, the other two are fine, but that one is really bad. I don't know why. One of the very few complaints I have with this game. I'm sure the more common complaints about this game revolve around the fact that the ending is pretty much an on-rail shooter segment. And one gripe that I have with the game personally is that you can't use your special items during things like the Grozny Grad escape sequence. Which admittedly isn't major, but I think it's kind of a bummer. In my opinion, I think I've earned those items, so I should be able to use them. But the game does strip you of- uh, uh okay. The game does strip you of your backpack, so you can't access that stuff anyway. And it kind of sucks, because I would absolutely love to go through Grozny Grad by just using stealth camouflage and the easy gun or something. But you don't get that option in this, even if you've unlocked that item. Kind of sucks. Pretty tasty. But anyway, I'm sure a fair few people would disagree with me on that front, and that's totally reasonable, but... My line of reasoning revolves around the fact that things like stealth camouflage, the easy gun, whatever, are special items that you had to unlock. So you would think that there's ammo down here? You would think that you should be able to use them whenever you want, but the game just doesn't let you. And in that place of all places, where you could really use the help.
Okay, looks like I'm going north. I was intending to go south, but if this leads out, then that's even better. Says the guy who can't see. Okay, so the passage continues going north. Oh, there's a ledge here, I see. Can I just hold still for a second? And let this state of almost dying just pass? I know that in Metal Gear Solid 2, if you were bleeding, you could crouch and stay still for a moment, and that would stop it. Oh, I think I know why this is happening, because I don't have any stamina. Duh. I want some more. What about now? Doesn't look like my life bar is moving. Great. I'll try... The Otten Frog. Right. Oh, battery! Excellent. Alright. Uh, thermal goggles. Okay. There's you, and you, and you. A crab. It's the best kind of crab. Okay, well, Jesus, don't mash buttons. That's not going to help you get through this area. I know you're hungry, Snake. It's fine. I'm just... I'm working on it. There's a lot of crabs here, and you'll have to make do. I don't think there's any kind of cutscene or anything for eating... Yeah, the Kenyan mangrove crab. There's one for snakes, one for fish. One for noodles. And I think that might be it. Don't actually remember. It's been way too long. Anyway, alright. Cigar, lead the way. Your health is low. Do you have any potions or food? There's a reference in there, and there's a cookie up for grabs. Alright, let's eat my third Kenyan mangrove crab. It's pretty much entirely to try to regenerate my life at this point. Now that it's that high, if I go prone... Will that do the trick? Or is my stamina depletion too fast with the spider camo? Oh! I saw that tick up. Alright, I'm just gonna use the life med. <laughs> it's probably the fastest way to do that. Again, this is me somewhat experimenting. It's been a while since I played this, so I've got to get used to how everything works again. But it was also mostly incompetence that cost me in Bolshaya Pass South. Mixed with a little bit of experimentation, so... That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, sure, that works. More rats, you say? Snake, you're gonna get very used to the taste of rat by the time we're done here, I guarantee it. Okay, so the snake eater camera is telling me that way, so if I just... If I just panic a little bit and press all the wrong buttons. Oh wait, isn't there a crawl space there? Um. Oh, right. I've gone way past the crawl space. It's in the first room. This is a side area. I'm sure that a lot of people know this already as well, but... After you enter this area, Snake's eyes will take about five real-time minutes to adjust to the darkness. Oh, here we go. You can see better, but not perfectly. It's a nice little detail that they added in.
There should also be a snake through this cave as well. I don't remember exactly where it is, but it's probably going to frighten me by just being there. Oh, there it is. I remember in the past, I think I walked around the- well, crawled. Crawled around this corner, and I just saw Snake Face. And it startled me a little bit. It wasn't very pleasant. Now, don't do what I did one time when I got to the top of this waterfall and just walk off the edge like an imbecile. I will neither confirm nor deny performing this action, but it might require you to run all the way around there all over again, and it might not be fun. I don't think I've missed the torch. I hope I haven't missed the torch. Hmm. Okay, shouldn't be a major issue. If it's not available in the next area, then I'm probably... Well, I guess I don't really need it anyway. So I'll be out of the cave regardless, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, let's just press on. Not gonna try to pronounce that? I was tempted to try, but no. All right, map, what have you got for me? This path is for sure. This path is for certain the one that leads you to the M37 shotgun. Like that one right there. Okay, excellent. It's helpful against the pain, but not really necessary. You can use grenades. What? No, be gone. Ow. If you have the sonar from playing on something like normal difficulty, because you apparently don't get those on extreme, because fuck you is why, I guess. You can use the sonar to send out a ping, which will make all the bats... I think it just repels them. It might not make them go back to the ceiling or anything like that. I don't know for sure, but... It will repel the bats. It's really a nice touch. One of the many nice touches in this game. Thought I saw something. It was a yummy frog. My favorite. Food full, eh? Let's fix that. So I do want at least one hornet nest for the next boss fight. What can I say? What haven't I eaten yet? I've eaten both of you. Oh yeah, I haven't eaten a rat. You heard it here first, folks. Rats taste decent. Okay, well, maybe not. They just have decent stamina recovery. Maybe not recommended in your daily diet. It's hard to tell. I'm getting a lot of ammo. I'm okay with this. Okay, so it's... Oh, wait. Can I... Okay, I thought there was a tunnel here, but couldn't remember for sure. I thought I saw something moving. I'll leave the Russian glow cap for the moment because I'll probably need to recharge my thermal goggles sooner or later. I would like to stock those up. I also want to find out... Is that a snake? Hang on. Oh no, it was a crab. I also want to find out if a completely rotten Russian glow cap will still regenerate your battery, or if it just makes you sick. Future me can probably edit that in, but he'll probably forget. What a complete stool pigeon. Pretty tasty. Come on, give me. Give me your delicious insides. Okay, good.
I guess the good thing about so much food being available here is that I'm not gonna run out. I've got a slight excess of crab and vampire bat I can eat, I suppose. Alright, so... This is the fight against the pain, and for that I'm going to want Mark 22. M37. Probably also some grenades. Not chaff grenades, those won't help. Don't need the magazines. I've got nine magazines. Hot damn. I usually don't just fire my gun this much, but there you go, I've started. Croc cap is probably not a bad idea to let me aim my grenades a bit better. You'll see what I mean if I remember to actually use it during the fight. And I also almost forgot to equip this. All right, don't need the suppressor. All right, should be good to go. Crop cap on standby. Radio, say hi to the pain. That is not the weapon I wanted, but sure. Bail. There's a shitload of fish around here as well, so I'm not going to struggle for food at all. Dang it, this works. Good thing those otten frogs are nice and plump. Okay, I was... Oh, he does too? That's frightening. I am right here, sir. I oh, need to remember you snake eat a camera for this, because he will disorient me sooner or later. Nope, goodbye. You can run, but you can't die. Am I really hiding there? Oh, that's another grenade. Alright, take that off. Crap. Okay, well, I'm not going to get a great shot from this angle. Who would have known? Enough with the grenades! Okay, good. Now let's eat something so I can get- oh wow, that looks really funny in the survival viewer. Um, let's eat something so I can actually not shake like a loon. Pretty tasty. Two otten frogs should seal the deal. Sure. Dang it, this works. Mmm, frog, my favorite. Okay, no you don't. I don't like the flavor of pain. Reminds me of hornets. Oh, he's... okay. Cool, I'll take it. Bail. I am just a crocodile. Oh, I guess I was underwater when he started doing it, but him getting that Tommy gun is usually a cutscene- oh god. Is usually a cutscene that fucks with your camera. And resets it back to the Snake Eater camera, so that's why I did it first. That way it doesn't disorient me. Okay, so. Two more rotten frogs, and I can probably go on the offensive again. I'm also going to throw down my hornet nest before I forget. You can use the crocodile cap to align your throws. Very handy. Same thing with grenades. Don't you fall in the water. Okay, good. Headshots are the way to go against the pain if you can land them. It's pretty tricky, but it's entirely doable. One, two... Three? That? Okay, well. That didn't hurt too much, you saw. Come on, phase two. Go into phase two. Okay, shoot accurately. <laughs> That's also a prerequisite.
Wait for it. Nope. Hoist by his own petard, as they say. I really hope my hornet nest is still going to be there after this cutscene. Didn't actually think about that. Probably should have picked it up first. Nope, it's gone, rip. Okay, let's bail. That's not a major issue. If you're going for something like the Markhor rank, then that absolutely is a run killer, but... All that's really done is cost me one full stamina item, so... It's a detriment, but ultimately not too bad. Dang it, this works. Do I have anything that can give me... Oh, well, yeah, let's try the ration. I'm pretty sure it tastes like ass, but gives okay stamina recovery. Yeah. Oh, no. I saw that grenade, you fucker. I don't think I've ever actually been hit by a grenade from the pain. I assume it does something like cause a burn or some other awful shit like that. Plus heavy damage, of course. What it? Four shots? Okay, there we go. Alright, well, the hornet nest would have attracted them there if I had thrown it down right before that. I guess any time before that. But unfortunately... Cutscene deleted it. Sad face. Hey, if you Hornets could just leave me the hell alone for a second here. Bug juice. Hopefully that'll work. I have no idea. Plenty of crabs. Yummy. Alright, I should probably keep the bug juice on. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Oh, don't worry, I saw the grenade. I know you're already yelling at me. Why are you shooting him, you fool? I oh, don't worry, I can do worse. I guarantee that. Did you not see me get through Bolshaya past base? Oh, of course. Okay, well. I killed a shitload of fish. I can at least get that. Let's also equip the thermal goggles so I can actually find them. Where are they? Come to me, fellas. Nom 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 nom. Would have been better to not do this in the middle of the boss fight, but sure. Okay. Got grenades back, so you can have one of those. And while I've got a break here, let's quickly eat... Yeah, Maroon Shark. I thought there were more arowana, but this is fine too. Oh. Apparently they taste very meh. Hmm, okay. Pretty tasty. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. Is that the sound of bullet bees I hear? Also, is there any M1911A1 ammo anywhere? Because I could use it to kill some fish, but there's... Oh wait, probably on the rocks here. I guess I could also just use my AK for that, but that's fine. Right here. Did I actually hit him with that? No, I don't think I did. Alright. Alright, come on, shaky aim. We got this. We're running out of fish, but we can still do this. One more rotten frog for good luck. Dang it, this works. Okay. One more grenade. Okay, no, let's just bail out instead. That's no, don't do that, you fall out. Tried to jump into the mm, okay. Been a long time since I sustained one of those, but yeah, let's dig out 
the bullet B, and disinfectant, I think? Bandage? Cuts and gunshot wounds, broken bones. I guess a styptic? Okay, good. Hmm. I promise I'm not complete shit at video games. Tommy God. That's the cutscene that fucks with you. Oh my god, I'm about to die. I am actually dead. Wow, I've never died to the pain before, ever. I'm actually impressed. Okay. Now that I have the chance to stop dicking around. I already prepared all my stuff in advance. I knew that. Okay. Mark 22. Oh, well, okay. Really? Really? Really now? Really? God damn. Pain is not fucking about today. He's taking advantage of my gigantic incompetence. Give me that. Alright, so, good news is, assuming I don't die this time, I do indeed have a hive of pain hornets, which gives you full stamina, which is very good. Of course I'm going to end up never using it ever, because I'm just going to fall into my routine of too awesome to use, but still. At least it's there so I can neglect it later. And no oh, they got on me and everything. Was oh, that another grenade? It is. Okay. You've got invincibility frames while you walk up. Well, I guess mantle. Yeah. Nope. I oh, still tagged me while I was in the water. Goddamn. You're it. Alright. One more rotten frog. Maybe two rotten frogs? Ah, uh, no, that's probably... Mm. And a Kenyan mangrove crab. Okay, that did pretty well. I am nowhere and I am everywhere. God damn it. Let's just chuck that. Don't go, his brothers. Alright, phase two. Much quicker than last time, thank fuck. Now watch me just die. Oh, right, do I have any life meds? I don't think I do. Probably used all of them. Yeah, I had two of them and I used both. Yeah. Now let's actually dodge that this time. Alright, just so I've got a bit of insurance as well, I might equip the AK and just go ape shit on the fish here. Whoa. Food's full, so I'll probably try to come back for that one later. If it doesn't despawn, that is. And you've got your armor, so... Oh, hello. Oh, it fell into the water. I could have just stayed on the island. Damn it. Alright, now let's eat my entire hive full of pain hornets. I'm sure that's normal. Full stamina. Would you eat a hive full of pain hornets? I don't think I would. Uh, 
Don't do that. Let's just shoot. Shoot. Okay. Don't shoot. That's fine too. Was trying to aim and shoot from the water, but I guess I either screwed it up or you just can't do it. Why, yes, this is the longest fight against the pain in Metal Gear Solid 3 history. Why do you ask? Oh, you would. Nope, bullet bees are bad. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm out. Oh, and you can't use a shotgun underwater, but the AK is fine. Guess it makes sense. I can't remember where I read this, but you can- Oh god, I almost drowned. You can apparently get mud and all kinds of crap clogging up the AK, and it will still work. Wait for it. There we go. Now, I may or may not need to regenerate life a little bit, so... Hey, Pain, do you mind if I just crouch here a little? Oh, god damn it. If I could aim, that would be super cool. Wow. You know, if there is one good thing about this boss fight... Well, I do like the boss fight overall, but if there's one good thing about a dumbass like me being stuck in this boss fight for so long, it's the music. Very good music. That better not kill me, I swear to god. Okay, no, 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 no. Yeah, come on, drop it, you won't. Coward. You usually only take three shots. Why four now? God damn it. Pretty tasty. How am I so bad at this boss fight? Hey, this works. Come on, one more. There we go. Right now, show me your shiny head. Hey. And I only got one shot. What the fuck? Did I cancel it? That's that's a new one. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, goodbye. I wonder if Snake could possibly be at these two rocks that are in this area. Duh, stupid. Uh, I desperately need food, hang on. More rotten frogs. Okay. What are you doing now? Oh, the grenade. Okay. Well, I can probably shoot that out of the air. Just like that. Oh, I finally hit him. Yay. Uh, it's gone. That'll probably go in the water. That'll probably also go in the water. No, a grenade is my idea. Fuck off. Get your own. Nope! Just in time. More M37 ammo, and I must once again... ...devour some fish. I am once again asking for your stamina. Probably got his hornets on, yep. Uh, sir, that's rude. Is that all you've got? You dare bring a grenade to a shotgun fight? Or something? Hey. One more. Yep, good. Now let's munch on a crab. 
It's gonna be done this time, I swear. Hey. Gotta space out his shots very carefully against the pain because he does have pretty lengthy oh invincibility. God. Shit. Gotta listen for the shots. That should be it. I believe it's two volleys. Yeah. That is a very nice looking JPEG of a hornet on my screen there. Magnificent. Chef's kiss. Mwah. I love it. <laughs> I have found my thumbnail for this part. Just to be safe. Pretty tasty. Come on, please finish. No! Close range shotgun. You're slightly closer than you were before, so it counts. Nope, still takes four shots. You would. Thank goodness. Okay, so with my first death against the pain ever recorded for the internet to see, I'll stock up, head to the next area, and call it for this part, for sure. God damn, I was not expecting to die to the pain, ever. But having to manage my stamina became much more of a challenge than I expected it to be during this boss fight. I realize that in this part I've just been kind of incompetent all around, like fucking up the CQC, trying to hold up guards. I didn't realize you could just... Well, I knew you could shake them down while they're unconscious or asleep to get items, but I didn't realize they would be the same set of items that you also got from holding them up, so that was good. But I also just took the same guard hostage multiple times. And I was I was basically just a big dick to him. <laughs> let's uh let's not mince words here, I was just a dick to him. Tortured him a little bit. And then I got a game over anyway, so it was all wasted. It was partially due to incompetence, I will admit. But it was also just me trying to get myself used to CQC and how interrogation works and all that stuff because I just generally don't do it and that comes across quite neatly in the videos here I assume. This is fun though. I'm glad that of all the reasons that I have to come back to this game it's a challenge run that I can record and put on the internet. My thinking is that even if I do so incomprehensibly bad at this game, then I'm probably the first person on Earth to do something stupid like this. Like who the fuck's gonna play through Metal Gear Solid 3 with just the spider camo? No one. So at the very least, it's a unique experience that I get to share with you the first time I go through it. The first time probably anybody's gone through it and put it on the internet, so... And even without that, you can still just enjoy my failure. So, there you go. Nice. Hmm, actually, now that I think about it... I can't say that I remember dying to the pain in the past, but... Phase 2 is notoriously difficult, so... I don't know, it's possible that it's just been so long that I don't remember dying to the pain. And as you've seen... And my save files on the PS2 version were from 2005, so... I might have, but anyway. Rambling aside, I'm gonna get to the next area here and then close things off, because that's been almost a solid hour, I think. I can't actually see my recording duration, so I'll have to guess, but yeah, that was a pretty long boss fight against the pain. Oh, I should have also thrown my silencer back on, but oh well. That's the wrong menu. Nice one. All right, I'm going to leave it on here for the moment because I'm overdue for a stretch. 
But that was pretty fun. Even if we ignore the catastrophic failure of dying against the pain and pretty much everything that happened in the base when I was trying to get a suppressor for the Mark 22, it all went pretty well. I do enjoy this game despite the rampant failures. It's going to take a lot more than that to discourage me from playing Metal Gear Solid 3 because as I mentioned before, this is just an excellent game. And I really wish it would just make its way to PC already so I could buy it on Steam, but oh well. So next time, hopefully I'll have shaken off enough of the rust to be able to reliably make it through the Granny Gorky Lab with just the spider camo. Catch you all then.